This is the behind the scenes bulletin of the Serafina Speaks for Children Who Think show. I'm your host, Serafina Melina Durban. Let's go right ahead to the bulletin, shall we? Hey, it's Serafina back with the behind the scenes bulletin. I found it fascinating to research and think about being happy to be different. Looking up how sheep behave and learning about herd mentality is great. All through recording the On Being Happy To Be Different episode, I wanted to raise the subject of being neurodiverse and links between difference, happiness and this. But something in me stopped me doing that. A small voice got loud in my head and said this. Serafina, don't go on about being neurodiverse again. You'll bore people. They don't want to hear about that. And then it got really loud with, people will make fun of you. So I stayed almost quiet. I don't talk too much about the ways I'm different, but I'm going to risk it. Being happy about being different is about accepting who we are and celebrating our differences. That includes our neurological diversity. I'm twice exceptional, or some people call that gifted plus. This means diagnosed as cognitively gifted with a blend of neurodivergence. In my case, that's dyslexia, dyscalculia and ADHD. My cognitive profile is spiky with super high scores in some areas and lower in others. I'm registered disabled, but telling you this information feels exposing. Being able to be ourselves is so important to our happiness. I'm comfortable with people who celebrate my differences and understand why I am like I am. These people focus on strength-based strategies to make sure my complex makeup is supported. I'm comfortable in my skin, And that includes about my neurodiversity. But that's different than outing myself in detail. I don't retain information easily. Thank you short-term memory challenges. In order to read well, I need quite a lot of time to process things. I look at words, have to translate them off the page or screen, and then I can say them out loud. I make hilarious and sometimes worrying mistakes with my reading. For instance, Signs on roads are hard for me, so daily life is tricky. My triplet brothers both read at adult levels. We know as we did tests last year. I adjust my expectations about the things I'm good at and accept that my differences are gifts. Just like Isadora said in the main episode, we need to learn to see our vulnerabilities as our unique qualities. It's these that mean we bring something that no one else can. It makes me sad that our world isn't always accepting of those of us who are neurodiverse. The belief that neurotypical people are the norm is misleading and foolish in my opinion. Because of this and the way that we are treated, neurodiverse people quite often suffer with low confidence and can find it hard to be at peace. When society recognises and values diverse ways of thinking and processing information, It creates an environment where neurodiverse individuals can be comfortable expressing our authentic selves. We deserve happiness and to be fully at peace with who we are. It makes me really sad that we don't appreciate neurodiverse people. I hope there's a message here for you in this behind the scenes episode. If you're enjoying Serafina Speaks, Please consider supporting the podcast by subscribing to my Substack to gain access to my exclusive digital library of bonus content and more. Put the word Serafina Speaks Substack into your search engine and it'll come up. I write social commentary on ordinary topics we take for granted. It's an extension of this podcast. If you'd like to get more involved in this podcast, why don't you join my correspondent team? All you have to do is post a review for the show on your fave podcast app. Then take a screenshot and send it to me at seraphina at seraphinaspeaks.com. Then I'll be in touch with you about being on the show. By the way, if you're looking for an idea of what to say in your review, if you're like me, you go blank, even though you want to do this. Here's a question for you. 
Let me know what country you're listening from and what you'd like me to talk about in a future episode. Next week's episode is called On Questions to Ask Tweens and Teens. It's a big topic, but I break it down in ways I think are hardly talked about. I guarantee I'll bring an authentic meanness to that episode. In other words, it'll be different. Thanks for listening, everyone. Remember to tell your friends, family and teachers to listen into if you think they'll enjoy the show. Take care, everyone. Lots of love. I hope you enjoyed this bulletin, everybody. If you like what you hear, click the subscribe button. This podcast is made possible by listeners like you. Thank you for all your support. 